So I just came in from mowing the grass, and boy are my legs tired, dude. Spilled gasoline on myself, I got all sweaty, there were bugs flying all over the place. It wasn't the best thing, dude, but it's done, dude. Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4, Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we beat up a measle, the son of the president and the leader of the Abaddon Task Force. In this episode, we uh, we are going to talk to that uh, crazy lady with the printy jacket who wants to kill all the printies for some reason. Let's check it out. A war? What a foolish lass. A war is a jumble of pointlessness that creates hatred and death. It takes everything from everyone. It's the epitome of absurdity. It is nothing but an act of folly, perpetuated by pitiful humans. Besides, what's so fun about making the people below you fight against each other? Sword against sword, fist against fist, pitting your violence against another's, fighting your own battles with your life on the line is the true appeal of war. My lord, unfortunately, that's only a demon's point of view. Humans are war profiteers who only care about their own selfish desires. To that end, they don't care about wasting time, money, or labor. In other words, they're a bunch of idiots. In that case, I will not allow such degenerates to start spreading that kind of idiocy here in Hades! My lord, please wait. That last seemed to be leading an unknown force. I'm assuming that she has been sent by the Corruptament. If that is the case, it wouldn't be very wise of us to go marching in without prior knowledge of who and what they really are. However, I already promised her that I would meet her at Rotten Field. If I were to fail to be on time for any reason, I would be breaking the promise I made as a proud and noble demon. Sorry for the delay, Sir Fenric. We've gathered some intel on those printing exterminators, dude! You're 15 seconds late. Pretty rule number six, you shall never make your master wait. If you ever fail to meet this rule... You shall confess your most embarrassing experience, dude! At least you're aware of the consequences. So, what do you have to report? Yes, sir. The Prinny Exterminators are a newly assembled Corruptorment Force. They consist of humans who fail to become Prinnies, dude! Fail to become Prinnies? The production of Prinny Hide can't keep up with the number of souls that are being sent here from the human world, dude! That's why they don't look like Prinnies. I pity them for not even being able to become Prinnies. But that doesn't explain why they're trying to exterminate the Prinnies. The Corruptorment probably has something to do with this. Using those unprinnies to get rid of the Prinnies. No matter which side wins, it's a win-win situation for the Corruptorment. It's a rather impressive scheme. This isn't the time to be impressed. As a pretty instructor, I can't just stand idly by and watch this happen. All that aside, the clock is ticking. We better get going, Fenric. Understood. All is for my lord. Uh, uh, Sir Fenric, do we still have to confess our most embarrassing moments, dude? I was able to make Axel out to be an anarchist, thanks to the information you all gathered. Considering that great achievement, I'll overlook your failure, this time. Episode 2, Prinny Wars! Maximum cheat min and cheat limit is now 80. Maximum cheat limit is now 115. Let's go with just our stats. Yeah, for each chapter you clear, you get a your cheat shop gets a little more powerful. As you can see, I can turn the I can turn a limit down to down to 80 or up to 115. I think I'm going to keep th keep things the way they are, though. I mean, all of this is pretty useful resources. I don't really have anything to gain from, uh... 
from reducing any of it below 100%. That being said, with the advent of a new chapter, it is time to TALK TO EVERYBODY! Also, scour the base for chests. <laughs> uh, praise. All I care about is their fish. <laughs> Politics as usual, heck yeah. Alright. Let's check out the uh the campaign HQ and the er, let's check out the Senate and see if we get any new uh oh. Okay, nothing new yet. Uh, we don't have a high enough product rank to get... Uh, we don't have a high enough customer rank to raise our product rank. Uh, the maximum product rank from more expensive stuff builds is tied to your customer rank. I could, on the other hand, probably... Uh, could probably buy a couple new... Uh, the new equipment for everybody. Let's see. Yeah, that helps a bit. Um, except now I'm out of cash. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, hey, there's a treasure chest up there. Yay, money. All right. So now we got a new weapon for uh Now we got a new weapon for Fenric. I guess it's time to get going. Do I have to pass several tests? Geoblocks. <coughs> Chain. Whoops. <laughs> I hit both circle and X at the same time. So, now instead of geoblocks and geopanels, we are going to be dealing with large groups of geoblocks. Pretties can't throw stuff. You can delete a block simply by throwing another block of the same color next to it. It's a slime! So yeah, slimes are... Slimes, they turn into spears, they've got incredible defense, and they are highly resistant to non-elemental attacks. So, if you want to deal with them, you really got to use magic. That being said, we do this.
That makes our uh, bonus gauge go all crazy cray. Where's her teal? There she is. Me. What do Prinny's magic change to again? Bows. Oh, me. that actually helps us a lot. Ooh, the cleric learned her first special skill. Overload is an attack that uses the cleric's res stat. Given that that's her highest stat, that's pretty handy. I got this. I got this. We're never gonna get to see this uh, this mechanic again, so uh, might as well make use of it in this game. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Let's get everybody out here. Here I come. Wait, why did my printing lose HP? Right. Prillin bomb. I gotta say. Oh well. Okay, so a thing I just noticed is that the uh, the HP bar turns red if uh, the game is pretty certain that an attack will kill. Something we probably ought to keep in mind for the future. I know this guy at 5 had that feature, I wasn't sure if 4 had it or not. Now we can make green slimes! Alright. Let's continue on. Tumble. <clears throat> Can't lift a stack of geoblocks of the same color. Whether they're stacked or side by side, it doesn't matter. They can't be lifted. The character will take damage by falling from the clear blocks. The more they, the greater distance they fall, the more damage they take. Perish. So, if we have Fenric do this. Can step in and do a thing. Big kitty! Meow 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 meow. 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 The kitty. I got this. Oh, 
Forgive me. Ready, guys? <sighs> I'll so elegantly be ready. By the way, Spears, uh, did I already say they had a range of two? I don't remember. Anyway, they have a range of two. I'm gonna do it. I'll show you. Also, I wonder if, uh, if the cat is gonna be able to get up those blocks. Hmm. Yep. Okay, but they... Alright, I guess the point is that there's no room to stand. Um, I don't want to go about this. Is the game having trouble rendering all these blocks? Cat kick teaser. Well, that was pretty wimpy. And KO. Really isn't going all that well, is it? Yeah, ha, here I, here I come. See if we can get our healer up there to uh, finish off the thief. Yeah, something I should mention about bows and guns is that uh, they have a they have a variable uh, height reach depending on the range you're attacking at. If you attack from farther away, you can hit higher up. We're still not done. All right, practice. your last challenge before you can get to Rotten Field. Meet the Orangi! They magic change to axes, uh, and they decrease the stats of adjacent ladies. But only enemy units. They don't affect allies, apparently. I am definitely getting a bit of input lag here. I'm not sure how to feel about that. I need somebody to step in and support that printing. Yeah, 
That works, I suppose. Forgive me. Here I go. Ready, good. The Valkyrie uh, uses swords, spears, and bows, and they get a damage bonus for the number of enemies defeated. Okay. Bye, Prini. One is the Orangi. Let's uh, let's send Valvatores after that one, I guess. Okay, sorry Valzi, but you are doing some pretty terrible damage there. I'm gonna have to get Fenric to take care of everything, I suppose. And Stella. Oh, okay. Orangi is now available to create! Good news, Lord Valvatoris. A new feature has been added to the Campaign HQ. Let's check it out. Evil symbols! Heck yeah! These uh, replace the club function from the Sky 3. You put them on the map, and anybody in the spaces covered by those maps uh, gets the effect. Aura Pyramid takes up one panel and has an area of effect of three.
You can pick a leader among the characters in the range. The leader will gain stat bonuses from the other characters in the range and power up. The leader can also use the magic of an adjacent char character that's also within the range. Not adjacent on the map, uh, adjacent in the field. So yeah, let's place our evil symbols. Oh, whoops, Fenric is there. <laughs> Torres with this guy. And we're probably good to go. As for the other evil symbols we can unlock, those would be the Heart Cannon and the Defense Fortress. I'll probably explain their functions when I get around to unlocking them. Actually, no, I can, uh, no, I'll do that later. Finally, I want to talk about the uh, new characters we can create through the Senate. There are a couple different classes we get. We start with Fighter, Valkyrie, Skull, Witch, uh, Healer, and Thief. And also, any monsters we've already defeated at least once, so that would be these guys. I know I neglected to, uh, when you, uh, Never mind. When you create a character, you can pay extra mana to give them a stat bonus. The stat bonus you give them affects their growth rates as well as their base stats, so choose your stats wisely. I don't really see the need to make anybody right now, considering uh, everybody already has average stats. So I'm just not going to bother with that. That being said, it is time to return to base and... Ooh, Battle Tower, ca General Advisor, Campaign Board, and Nether Shoe Lab. Alright, so we unlocked a lot of uh, new evil symbols this episode. That being said, it is probably time to take a break from this, end the video, and I will get back to you guys tomorrow. I hope to see you all then. Bye-bye.